Hello ladies, I'm back. I've been gone for probably a year, uh, Mimi's Crafty Shop, and I have been, oh my goodness, I can't even tell y'all the things that I've been doing. Mainly is my husband and I sold our house about, mm, maybe about five months ago, and we moved, had to pack everything up, um, been living there 10 years, and we decided that we were going to sell our home. So we did, and I um, have um, not really been doing a lot of crafting. I uh, decided that uh, I wanted to try making a journal book. Um, I brought a lot of my crafting stuff, not everything with me, and I don't have a craft room right now. I have everything set up kind of in our garage, but um, it's working out okay. Uh, of course, as you know, when you pack everything up, when you get ready to start journaling or, or crafting, you're like, oh, I don't have this. Oh, I don't have that. Oh, I don't have this. So, um, Fortunately, my mother, uh, which is Vintage Arts Treasures Granny, she sent me a box full of goodies, and she's helped me kind of um, with this. She's been doing journaling for a while now, and she's made a lot of cute things. And I, of course, researched some um, tutorials on YouTube, which just helped me a lot. But anyway, let me start out uh, with this book. I just got a regular book, and I painted it. And um, then I got some... A lot of really neat stuff off of Pinterest pictures and everything and my idea was to do a bird journal because I love birds and I thought well that's kind of what I wanted to do I got my idea from uh, Alice sent this to my mother and I can't think of her YouTube name but um, she sent this to my mother and I just loved it it was a very let me get this one out of the way she's a very pretty book um, Anyway, it, it gave me um, ideas. Mom let me borrow this so I can look through it and kind of use this as a guideline. So thank you, Alice, for making that book for Mom. I loved it. So anyway, let me get started. My first page, my front of my book, I just, like I said, I've got this off of Pinterest. It was actually a front of a book, I guess. And so I decided to use that because I thought it was pretty. And I just put some you know, um, stuff on the sides and just kind of embellished it with different things. And I thought it turned out really good. I've just used my open, my, um, closure deal. It's just a button sewn in with, um, rubber band. And I use the twining for my signatures. That is the easiest way. And that's what Alice did. So I went with her guideline on that. All right, let's open it up. And I'm sorry y'all can probably can't see this just real super good because I'm kind of doing a different way with my, my book. But anyway, I just cut some scrapbooking paper and just put some little papers in here for your journaling. I thought this page was really pretty. And you can see I just cut this up as an envelope that my mom gave me and I used this. It's really pretty. I got this off Pinterest. Thought it was really pretty. And I did some coffee tea dyeing, some papers, and it turned out pretty good, even though I didn't really care for the smells too much. But this is one of my favorite things in the Bible. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. Uh, that's helped me throughout uh, a lot of my tough times in life. And... Um, what I've struggled with, and I remember this, and I can just, I one, I don't recite things very well, but this is one verse that I can remember, so it helps me in my time of need. And that's another stamp. Um, so let me just keep going. I don't want to go over my 15 minutes. I made this tag here. I thought it turned out really cute. And here was just some uh, scrapbooking paper. I just cut that out and just made like a little thing that you can, you know, journal in, some more journaling paper. I thought that was a real pretty piece. I got that off of Pinterest. And then this little saying that says, she's building her nest, my darling. It's a little, a little thing about birds building their nest. I thought that was a really cute little saying. But anyway, I, I thought I liked that a lot. And this was so cute. I got this from mom. But the, the coffee stain in turned out really good. Um, like I said, I didn't really care much for the smell, but it does make a difference in how everything looks. Mom gave me this, and it was really cute, already cut out. And then here's the other side of that envelope. 
just a little another little piece of paper you can journal on. There's so many different techniques out there that you know you can use and do um, in on YouTube that it was hard for me to decide what to do. Uh, this is some more little tags I made, and then I took some um, doilies, these little paper doilies, and did them up, and they turned out really cute. And just some more little journal stuff that you can write on. This right here was real cute. It's just made up. And like I said, my mom gave me a lot of this stuff. This right here was real cute. I think Alice made this too. She gave it to mom, and it turned out really cute, and I stuck it on there with the roses. I thought it was pretty. This right here, um, I stamped and then kind of put a little blue on it. Mm, it turned out alright. It wasn't the best. Uh, this right here is really cute. Mom sent me that. And it's actually a card I made up. And it says, Come to me all who are weary and burdened and I will give them rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Oh my gosh. So many of us get weary each and every day. And that's a special verse in the Bible that we can look at and know that God's there for us. I love this stamp. It's one of my favorites. So pretty. But I didn't get too um, in-depth with everything. I kind of left the pages a little simple. I didn't want to overwhelm myself. Uh, this is really cute here. Uh, I thought that was so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Another. And then some more doilies. I thought this is really cute. I'm sure you all love seeing this. It says, you have wings. Learn to use them. So, as I twisting this book around. I know you are probably like, gosh, can't you do a better job? Well, no, I probably I probably could, but I don't have the best stand for my iPad, so I just have to kind of improvise. I'm sorry if I'm making y'all sick. This is so cute. I cut these out and just added some embellish with some lace on the bottom, and I thought it was really pretty on the black back, black background. I'm trying to stay in focus here and frame, as y'all say. This was really cute. I like that picture of that bird. That stamp didn't turn out so well, but I think I stamped it after I put everything together and not the greatest idea. The doilies turned out really cute. I made another little card. This was something else my mom gave me, and I put a little dragonfly stamp on it because it had a dragonfly on it. And then I put another little saying in there, and it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Isaiah 41.10. Some more stamping. I find I really enjoy the stamping. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I used... The one thing that I, I realized, um, another is this is really pretty too i cut that out and put that nest there is that this thin paper here i printed out a lot of stuff on this thin paper this regular just copy paper not a great idea uh, you can't use uh, glues and stuff on the back so i had to come out with some different ways to glue my stuff on or stamping and stuff i won't be doing that again the thicker paper it works really good on and so i found that using the thicker paper is a better idea this right here was kind of a mistake. I sprayed some stuff on there, and I, it didn't turn out that great. And oh well, I said it's all right. I did some more of that blue, just trying to highlight stuff. But for my first time, it's it's okay. Like I said, I used that double-sided tape, and I see that it's not that great to use. Um, it just tends tends to stick to everything. But I didn't really have a choice. I might could come back later and come up with another idea. But right now, that's just what I used. And it doesn't stick that well. I love this right here. This turned out so cute. This mom gave me some feathers and just a little... Um, lace there and then that dually and that dually turned out so cute love that of course my stamp i loved again and these stamps right here they were really turned out cute too another 
have that little butterfly stamp. I have the little cards you can write on. And then this is the end, the back of it. And on the back side, I uh, did that kind of colorful because I tried to, on this doily, I tried to do some different stuff that didn't really turn out that great. But anyway, it worked out all right. And then that shows you how I did my my twine and stuff and put it on the, the little thing there. But anyway, y'all, it's not the best. I'm sure, you know, for my first time, I can't complain. Um, and it was fun to do. Uh, it didn't take me that long to do it. Do it. I enjoyed it, and I'm probably going to make a Christmas one next. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, y'all, and uh, I appreciate it. And I enjoy watching everybody's YouTubes and learning and stuff, and I think it's great when people share their information and how they do stuff, and I think that's great. That helps people out like me that doesn't know how to do stuff. So thank you so much, and uh, I'm glad you watched it. And uh, y'all have a blessed day.